Okay, so this is Mike filming right now. And this is with him. He's got his hand on the monitor as well as on the camera itself. And I think that's a mistake you're making. I would yeah, that's end it off and try just the finger. It doesn't take much movement to show. It really doesn't. Your finger probably shouldn't be in contact with the monitor at all. It's all so magnified. Move it out. And, and also, what I would probably do is like get another one there. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's pretty good. It's a lot better than the average YouTube video. That's not always possible. So he's what he's doing right now. He's on wide angle. He's close to me, so he doesn't have to zoom in. And he's also so close that he's getting really good audio. The audio quality is fine. How does if the he, wide angle prevent shaking? Well, if you zoom in on something, it magnifies any body movement. Oh. Just like a telescope. If you had a telescope and you're looking at the moon, that's not going to work real well if you're just holding it in your hand. Right. But if you put, mount the telescope on a tripod, the moon starts getting steadier. Oh. You, the, the zoom just magnifies the shape. Right. It doesn't, a lot stop of, you, it doesn't stop you physically from shaking, obviously. It's just, it, right. It, it just makes it less noticeable. Right, right. Okay. Um, like a lot of videographer tra videography trainers will train their new students by taping their wide angle open so that they can't zoom in. Huh. <laughs> uh, others will tell you that zooming in is just a lazy way of walking in. Huh. But the fact is you can't walk in towards everything. Right. Uh, and there are, certain, there are certain advantages occasionally to zooming in other than that. So the wide angle is not always possible. Um, but he, al he already knew to keep it on a wide angle when he got in here. He started filming something and he was just instinctively doing it. So we went straight to showing him, I went straight to showing him how to zoom in on something without shake. And that's what I'll show you next if you want. Okay. Jeff. Now what do you want me to do? Go ahead and zoom in on that mountaintop. Do you see how shaky that is? Yeah, it looks like uh, an earthquake. Yeah. So, um, we zoom back out to the point where you can start to see the trees again that are nearby. Okay. Um, now again, you see it's still pretty shaky. Yeah. So, um, what I want you to do... I'm going to call that a mistake because yeah. you're adding more... You're adding less steadiness. That's a flighty that, object. This yeah. is a steady object. Just angle it's the camera up. Solid. Yeah, go ahead and see what comes to mind. So you're thinking of just kind of aiming up, up I'll like have to, that. And a little bit, otherwise I'm not going to be at right. the, the height of um, the summit. I'm going to be at the, the lower tree line. Now can you think of, of a way to aim it up? That, like right now, well, go ahead, go ahead and show what your first instinct is to do. Okay. Let's see how shaky that is. Can you see? Yeah. still pretty out of control. Yeah. Every so, time I move my left finger, my right hand moves. Tries to move back out just a little bit. So you can just barely see those trees on the sides. Okay, so zooming out, it helped a little bit, right? It's, yeah. it's, le it's not as much of an earthquake as it was before. It's still a pretty bad shot. The, ro the problem is that you are doing something that involves tension. Yeah. You're pulling with a muscle, yeah. and that is reflected in the camera. Yeah. So what you want to do is take all the muscles out of it. It's a little bit like shooting, like apple seed style shooting, where, it, you, where your body becomes a tripod. Uh, my recommendation, the first blush, blush would be probably just to put like a finger under here. Yeah. And then, you know, just like probably about like that would probably be the best thing. So that way, it's still tilting up that everything is in direct contact with solid. Yeah. Like my, my arm is completely resting on the on the table, I'm not using much muscle. I could probably do a little bit better than this. I shouldn't be this far away from the camera. Mm -hmm. but that's a start there. What I would do is actually I'd sit where you are and I would uh, You just have to expect you're going to spend a few minutes fiddling with it before you can get the shot. I can't get it. Ideally, I would get it so it's just resting like, like that. Yeah. But I can't get it to aim properly when I'm doing this. My finger's just a little too high. 
So that's probably what I'd end up doing. Probably something like that. And that should be, if you look at it, it should be perfectly steady while I'm not talking. Yeah. And that's what you have to do. You have to stop talking. <laughs> when you're zooming in like that, you can't do anything. Um, it's just all the, the picture. Um, a better method might have been, you know, were it available, it might have been for me to use an object, you know, to put an object underneath the camera and then do like a, he a hands-off shot where the, where the object is just holding the camera up. Yeah. And if it won't work, uh, this might... Uh, you put the object underneath and then you just let it sit like that. Yeah. Now that, and especially if... Now, if I were taking this shot for real, I'd have both of you move away from the table because you'd be shaking it around. Mm -hmm. And I would, I might even step away from the table. Mm -hmm. That would be the perfect shot in terms of steadiness. But it's not really aimed in the right direction. So I just lived with the finger in that case.